so i welcome all the divine masters on this beautiful platform pmc africa so on this third sunday what we are going to speak uh, we are going to discuss on the topic the third agreement we started a series from a book called the four agreements and today is the third day of that book and we will discuss the third agreement that is don't make assumptions and my name is japnur preet singh so let's firstly discuss about the agenda of this meeting we will start with the introduction not making assumptions how to come out from these assumptions and assumption is equal to expectation and impact of uh, like what are the impacts of making assumptions and what are the positives of not making assumptions last will be conclusion and the activity so let's start with the introduction don't make assumptions yes so we will start with a quote that is the greatest enemy of communication is the illusion of it that we make a lot of illusions we make a lot of communi- uh, assumptions while uh, we are communicating with somebody we are making assume- uh, assumptions we are making expectations so this is a beautiful quote which is the greatest enemy of communication is the illusion of it we start making assumptions so we will first start with the introduction don't make assumptions it is a third agreement taken from the book the four agreements it is a book by don michael ruiz and this is a book this is the book you can see and it is the tagline of the book is a practical guide to personal freedom and in the last series or in the last two sundays we discussed the first agreement that was be impeccable with your word and second day, second was don't take anything personally so today our topic is do not make assumptions and it is the first statement of this uh, agreement is find the courage to ask questions and to express what you really want we have to be very courageous while asking questions most of us do not tend to ask questions and we do not express ourselves in the child like presentation like we discussed in a session like why to become child like even in that session that we discussed that uh, the children are very courageous to ask what they want what they really want so they are very expressive now by this time when we grow older we start to think about the things that the society may assume about us if we will express ourselves and the second thing is communicate with others as clearly as you can to avoid misunderstandings sadness and drama so this is a very uh, clear agreement that you have to ask the questions you have to express yourselves fully and you have to communicate with others as clearly as you can to avoid misunderstandings sadness and all the unnecessary drama so this is a very easy uh, agreement that you can bring in your life implement in this uh, in your life and this can transform your life very easily okay let's move forward uh, not making assumptions so just a second okay not making assumptions so what happens is we have a tendency to make assumptions about everything the problem with making assumption is that we believe that they are true now the second is making assumptions about others we make assumptions about others of what they are doing or what they are thinking or uh, many times we take these uh, personally as well making assumptions about ourselves like sometimes we assume that in this particular uh, like if you go into competition 
that you assume you underestimate the power of others and you have a lot of over confidence in yourself so you assume that you will definitely get the success and uh, sometimes we underestimate also ourselves so we make a lot of assumptions about ourselves that we are good we are not good we can do this we cannot do this so these are making assumptions and assumptions about non understood things now even if we hear something and we don't understand it we make assumption about it that what about we make a assumption that what it means and believe those assumptions like we sometimes uh, are not the witness of some things but we make assumption about what he might have uh, told about me what he might have uh, discussed about me we make assumptions and the last thing is assuming us to be right all the time so we when we believe something when we believe something we assume, we assume that we are right and we exactly know about that particular thing and uh, this thing when we believe something that we are only right this uh, hind- causes a hindrance in the relationships and because we try to defend our that position that we are right so we try to defend it we try to manipulate it so that is why uh, these are the things that we make assume assumptions about now how to come out of these assumptions the best way is to ask the questions so the way to keep yourself from making assumptions is to ask questions make sure the communication is clear a very straight forward a very clear communication you must build in yourself and if you don't understand anything ask right away don't think don't assume that's what the other person will think about you don't assume that and ask this question if you are not clear then ask the next thing is have courage to ask the questions now if you want to ask something you need to have courage and until you are clear you have to ask that question so that even then do not assume that you know all there that is uh, you have got all the knowledge if you are uh, getting a reply for a particular question then even that you do not have to assume that you have fully understood it because when you assume that you know everything about that sub- uh, particular situation uh there are many chances that this over confidence will deteriorate a lot of things in your life then uh you in in like over confidence all thing will be uh, waste the haste makes waste so have courage to ask the questions and uh, do not be so over confident that you know everything do not assume that you know everything and the last thing is easier it seems difficult to do so don't make assumptions just saying this sounds very easy that okay we will not make assumptions but i understand it is difficult to do because we so often do exactly the opposite we always make assumptions and assumptions now this is a very beautiful uh, examination that assumption is equal to expectation we expect a lot of things in our life right we uh, the main reason behind a lot of struggles uh, by, uh, sorry not struggles uh, a lot of fights in the relationships is a uh, expectation that we expect other person to do what we really want so this is you can see numerator expectation and denominator when your expectation is at the zero state this is the zero state and when you are uh, your expectation is at the zero state neither you are expecting something nor uh, in positive nor you are expecting something in negative now what happens is uh, when you are in the zero state that is the happiest state because when you expect something and other person does something similar to it you become happy it is very but obvious but when you expect something that you want and the other person does not do the same thing then the line goes towards the denominator then you become angry so do not assume something okay about any person or anything keep your expectations at the zero state 
Now, in any kind of relationship, we make assumptions that others know what we think. Others know what we think and we don't have to say what we want. So, when they are going, they are going to do what we want because uh, we know that they are going to do what we want because they know us very well. So, now what happens if they don't do what we want, the line will go in the denominator. And we will assume that they must know what we want. We expect that they will do a task in our favor only. Or uh, if a very common example like uh, you go into a restaurant and other person, you assume that that other person knows what drink you would like to have. If I would like to have an Oreo shake and the other person brings a strawberry shake, now I will be very angry, I will be very furious at that person. You don't know how to uh, what I want, what I really want. This will create a gap in our relation. When we expect that he will order Oreo shake for me only. Now, but now he has ordered a strawberry shake for me. So now I am going uh, in the denominator. I am going below. And that is uh, creating a big gap. Now I say that you should know what I really want. This is very wrong. Again, we make the assumption that the other person knows what we really want. So, a whole drama is created just on this very small thing. So, we make assumption and then put, and then we put more assumptions on the top of it. Next thing is impacts and the positives. Impacts on the relationships. Now, assuming, like uh, I gave only just gave this uh, example that we assume that the other person will do something in our favor but when the opposite happens we tend to become very angry or the second example is like you are calling somebody okay and the person is not picking your phone you assume that he is ignoring you it is a very common example we do not try to think from the other's perspective that he might be busy or he might be doing the work he might be in the college but we suddenly think Okay, there is a gap in our communication now. He does not want to uh, make a friendship with me or he does not want to uh, go with this friendship anymore. He is ignoring me or like that. So, these uh, tend to do, these tend to make unnecessary conflicts. Clear communication is the key to avoid misunderstandings. Now, impact on the work dynamics. Now, suppose that you are... Uh, colleague is getting promoted he has got the promotion and now what happens is you again assume that your values are not are undermined that your values are not being considered now this will decrease the productivity this will decrease the dedication and sincerity in your work because now you are assuming that uh, your values are not uh, your sorry your tasks are not being valued then this will uh, definitely in, uh, decrease your productivity. So, clear communication fosters a healthier work environment. Last thing is impact on the personal growth. Assumptions can limit the personal growth and overcoming them leads to enhanced self-awareness and continuous development. Many times we assume a lot of things about ourselves. So, stop assuming about your own selves, about others or about any workplace environment. So next thing is conclusion. In conclusion, understanding the impact of assumptions on communication is crucial. Now by consciously choosing uh, clarity over the assumption, we foster healthy relationships, more effective teamwork and continuous personal growth. And now, this is the activity time. So, last is, imagine a scenario right in front of your eyes. You can close your eyes, your eyes so, to, so as to imagine very clearly. Now, your colleague seems distant and preoccupied at work. How do you respond? You have four options. A. Assume that they are upset with you and, and they are avoiding them. And then you also avoid them. Assume that they are upset with, the, uh, with you and you avoid them. Second thing, ask them directly if everything is okay. Third is, 
share your assumption with other colleagues to get their opinion and last is plan a team building activity to lighten the atmosphere what will you do so i ask the participants to uh, type in the chat box what they will do in this situation a colleague seems distant and preoccupied at work so how do you respond options are right in front of you assume that they assume that they are upset with you and you avoid them ask them directly if everything is okay see share your op- uh, assumption with other colleagues to get their opinion and last is plan a team building activity to lighten the atmosphere let's see we have got two replies okay option b okay so yes this is what we learned that you have to courageously courageously ask your questions if you are unclear with anything directly communicate with them a clear communication and uh, no assumptions and last one is uh, be able to ask questions this is a best way to not to make any assumptions so this is absolutely okay so last uh, let's move to the next slide that is in the absence of the information we jump to the worst conclusions a very common example our child is not picking up the phone he is he has gone to tuition okay or he has gone to play or anywhere in the market he is not picking up the phone now we do not have the information now we jump to the worst conclusions that he might have encountered with an accident anything might have gone wrong so we assume these things so best thing is not to assume do not assume do not make assumptions this is what we learned today so do not just li- directly jump to the worst conclusion first gather information about it about it courageously ask questions and then you will be able to go to a uh, accurate conclusion do not directly jump to the conclusions so let's move to the last slide that is thank you so much uh thank you so much for giving me this beautiful opportunity actually i have not read this book the four agreements but when i was given this opportunity to present the four uh, agreements now i am getting the insights from that book uh, i have not read but uh, while researching on this topic i am able to understand everything in detail and even like i have uh, somebody gifted me a big photo frame of uh, the four agreements only in a meditation session and it is right in front of my eyes and whenever i uh, come or go in the from the room i, de- I read it before leaving or before coming so uh, so as to remind me every time that i have to be impeccable with my words i have i uh, do not have to make assumptions i do not have to uh, what was the second agreement uh it first one was be impeccable with your words then is uh, don't make this one is a uh, don't make assumptions and the third one is don't take anything personally yeah and the last is always do your best and that fourth agreement we will discuss in the next uh, sunday on the next sunday so i hope you liked this session and i hope you were able to get insights from this session so thank you so much for giving me this beautiful opportunity thank you